Okay, I just wanted to do a second pop art tutorial to get a little bit more um, color, um, I guess. Make it a little more pop art than what we had before. So basically I started with a picture here and what I want to do first is I'm not even going to worry about copying it. I'm going to go to image adjustments and I'm going to go right to threshold. I'm going to skip the other step. Alright, so you can get kind of a, a neat effect here just by doing that. And I'm going to go OK. And then I want to make sure that I give myself a little bit of a blur, Gaussian blur, just to kind of soften the edges a bit. This will help with the halftone effect. And I'm going to go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. Image, Mode, Bitmap. And again, I want to make sure I select halftone. And I'm going to put my frequency down to about 20 so that the, the dots are larger and they're round. Okay. And that looks pretty good. And I want to go to Image, Mode, Grayscale again and leave my sa size at 1. And Image, Mode, RGB Color. Okay. And that way I can add some color to my image. Now, I don't want to just paint on my background. I want to make a copy of my background first. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and insert a new layer in between here. I just clicked this button here. And you can paint it really with whatever color. I painted this one with red. So now I'm going to go up to my background color here and I'm going to do this thing that says Select Color Range. And I'm going to click on the white. And I'm going to make it fairly fuzzy you know, we're up in that range and I'll click OK. And you'll see it starts flickering everywhere. I'm going to hit Delete. OK, and then Control D to deselect. Now, you may want something like that. Um, and, you know, that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and on my red layer, I'm going to select everything and delete. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because you can see here that this top layer, everything is transparent except the black. So what I'm going to do under this, on this blank layer here, is choose a color like red and a brush and make sure that it's fairly large and you know, that's kind of yucky, but I'm going to go ahead and um, paint her lips on here. Okay, that's horrible. But let me go ahead and take off some of that. I'm going to go ahead and try to add a little bit, make it look somewhat stylish. Now obviously that's horrible, so I'm going to click my opacity. I'm going to drop down the color a little bit and kind of try to mute it. I can do the same thing by picking a color like a bright uh, blue and add a streak into parts of her hair. Okay. Now, whoops. Now, um... What this has given is just a, a different kind of effect, and if I could stop grabbing it. Um, or the other thing you could do is add some blue in the eyes or, or something like that, and it's a much more um, pop art effect than what we did before. You could also go in and try to find like a, a flesh color. Um, it's kind of difficult just to kind of choose one, so I'll, I'll just pick something like that. Use a, a larger brush. But what I want to do now is, because I don't want to mess up the other layer, I'm going to do a layer, new layer, right there. And I can actually paint across like this. Okay. And it looks like I'm painting over everything, but I'm painting on a new layer, so it should be okay. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and drop my opacity down. And I can use my eraser tool now and erase out the parts that I don't want to be that tan color. Okay. And I could even erase over the lips if I wanted it more pink. Alright, so you can see that you can get a real pop art effect with this. Um, I think I've used the word pop art about a million times in the last five minutes, so I hope I didn't drive you crazy. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.